What's up guys, it's Kingstar Vidu here and welcome to another prediction video for the Champions League group stage. Um, the group uh, has been announced like two weeks back. Only reason why I haven't done a prediction video since then was because none of these, the leagues have never even started so I had nothing to base my predictions off of. Now, uh, each each team has already played like four, four or five games into the league so we have a better understanding how each team's got to play for the rest of the season. Somewhat of a better understanding. So yeah, here's my predictions for the, this year's Champions League group stage. Here we have uh, Group A. We have Benfica, United, Basel, and CSK Moscow. Um, this group, uh, United are going to run away with this for sure for me. Um, they have brought some new signings. And plus, some of their old signings are like shining even brighter now. Ibra Hemisic has just re-signed. Uh, so now they have two good strikers in the form of Lukaku and Ibra. Um, Pogba looks to be <laughs> playing his worth of 90 million now. So United are going to walk away with this. And second for me, I'm going to have to pick Benfica. Mainly because most of the time they do end up <laughs> going into the... Uh, knockout stages anyway, so yeah, Benfica will come second and third will be Basel. CSK Moscow will finish in fourth. In Group B, we have a somewhat of a slightly tougher group. When I mean tough, I mean between the two teams, um, Bayern and PSG. Now, if this was last year, I would pick Bayern without any doubt to top this group, but PSG with their near recruits like Neymar and Mbappe, both for a total combined fee of like 400 million. Um, it's just mad and I think PSG actually this year might have a chance to even uh, win the whole thing but I'm still gonna go with that because it's a it's a new squad um, I mean c competing with the likes of Bayern, Barca, Juve, Real um, I don't know if PSG are there yet maybe given another season and then they'll probably um, play much better but I still think Bayern is going to top this group and PSG will come close second. And third place, I'm going to have to pick Celtic to go to the Europa League and Anderlecht to finish in fourth. All right, so now we go to Group C and we have a, a tougher group right here. Chelsea, Atletico, Roma and Quarabag. No offense to Quarabag, but they're going to finish dead last. I don't even know if they might even walk away with a win in this group stage, but maybe it's possible to get a point by drawing against one of these teams, but even that, I slight, I highly doubt that. But yeah, Quarterback will finish dead last. Roma, Atletico, and Chelsea, three tough teams. Um, but if I have to pick top two, I'm gonna have to pick Chelsea and Atletico. I don't know who's gonna finish in uh, first or who's gonna finish second, but I'm gonna pick Chelsea and Atletico to go out of this group and Roma to get a Europa League spot. Roma is a tough team as well, and I think this will be a close comp uh, f close uh, fight, like how things two or three years ago when uh, Napoli, Arsenal, and Dortmund were all in the same group, and I think it was Napoli who en still ended up getting knocked out, even though they had like 12 points, which was pretty mad. So I think something similar might happen with this group, but yeah, I think Roma's gonna get the <laughs> A boot to Europa League. Now Group D we have Juve, Barca, Olympiacos and Sporting. Um, so right away I'm gonna pick Olympiacos to finish in uh, fourth place and Sporting to finish in third and get the Europa League spot. Now between Juve and Barcelona who do I think is gonna finish first? Well Juve did knock out Barcelona in last year's Champions League knockout stages but they did lose um, Danny Alves, so I don't know how much that's going to affect them. Uh, Barcelona lost Neymar, that's be a heavy loss for them as well, but they did get Usman Dembele, who on his first game played really well, got an assist. So, I don't know, but I'm still going to pick Juve to finish first, just because I think Barcelona is still, like, they, they still seem somewhat broken with like Messi and Iniesta not like extending their contracts, whatever. Messi could pot potentially go for a free next year. So yeah, I think um, Barcelona will finish second and Juve will finish first. All right, Group B, we have Spartak, Moscow, Sevilla, Liverpool, and Maribor. <laughs> Again, no offense to Maribor, but I think they're gonna finish last place as well for it. 
Spartak Moscow finished in the Europa League and uh, I think Liverpool top the group and Sevilla will come second. Alright, so now moving on to Group F, we have Shakhtar Donetsk, Man City, Napoli and Feyenoord. And again, like United, Man City have made some new recruits as well, signed some new recruits. So I think they're going to finish in first. Napoli will finish, most likely finish in second. And th for third place, um, Shakhtar and Feyenoord are, to me, they they look pretty equal. But I'm going to have to pick Feyenoord to come third and Shakhtar to finish in fourth. Now, Group G. This one, to me, is like the group of death, but doesn't they don't have the, the big teams in it but it's like the mediocre teams all in one group and this to me all each one of these teams in this group look like they can actually make it into the knockout stages they have monaco porto besiktas and rb leipzig this is a really tough group uh, monaco i mean they lost a lot of key players lost mbappe um, they lost Mendy and they lost some other players as well. Um, <laughs> surprisingly, they kept Lamar. We thought I thought he might might have moved to uh, Arsenal or even Liverpool, but he's still with them, so <laughs> he's giving them hope. And they do have some new recruits like Jovetic, Falcao is still in it, so hopefully Falcao will <laughs> start playing <laughs> much better than last season. Um, Porto, I mean, they're still good as well. They still have um, the keeper that had, the, actually the player that has made the most Champions League appearance ever, Iker Casillas, still in this team. I think he'll probably keep some clean sheet in, uh, in this group. Besiktas, they have made some good signings. They got Pepe, Negrado. Um, they still have like Charisma on the team. So I think that'll be tough as well. And RB Leipzig. I mean, at one point they were uh, in first place in the Bundesliga, beating even Bayern Munich. Um, many thought that they'll be the Leicester City of the Bundesliga, but I think they ended up finishing second, so not quite there. But um, they, again, RB Leipzig, I think they have also lost some players, key players as well, over this window. And they lost Keita, but not this season. Next season, he'll be going to Liverpool. So at least for this year in the Champions League, he'll remain with the club. But it's already been announced, confirmed that he'll be going to Liverpool in 2018-19 season. Um, so my predictions, I mean, I'm going to have to pick... this. One, okay, again, this is the only group out of my predictions that I'm not really sure about. I'm just pretty much guessing right now for this group. I'm going to pick Monaco to finish first, Porto to second... Leipzig, Leipzig in third and Besiktas to finish in fourth. Again, maybe, maybe two weeks from now I might pick different teams, but as of right now, I don't know. This this group looks like a group of depth to me. All right, now we're moving to the last group. And again, um, if it wasn't for the, the previous group, I would call this the group of death. And this one fits the group of death name more because this has all the big teams in it. Uh, has Real Madrid, Dortmund, Tottenham, and Applewell. Um, <laughs> Applewell being the <laughs> underdog in this uh, group. And potentially, they're going to be the team that's finishing last, in my opinion. Although, <laughs> Tottenham are playing in Wembley at home for the rest of the season. And they do ha they are known for having bad luck at Wembley. I think they have won only two games so far um, that they played in Wembley. Um, they lost their home stadium, White Hart Lane, because they're building a new stadium. So until then, they'll be playing all their home matches in Wembley. Again, they have bad luck at Wembley. So um, unless they can somehow fix that, I, I, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be even shocking if Applewell even finishes above Tottenham. But I'm still gonna put Tottenham in third because I don't know much about Applewell. Um, so yeah, I think they should be they sh they. Realistically, Tottenham should be uh, placing ahead of Applewell, but I won't be surprised if Applewell uh, goes ahead of Tottenham and gets the Europa League spot. First two spots for me have to be Real Madrid and Dortmund. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably get a lot of people hating on me for saying that. Uh, Tottenham are a good team too, but just the Wembley um, Stadium is not proving that much 
for them at all. So unless they could turn that around, maybe they might uh, prove competition for Dortmund and Real Madrid. But yeah, I'm just going to put them in third. Um, as a Real Madrid fan, I want to put Real Madrid first, but Dortmund, we were in the same group as Real Madrid last year as well, and Dortmund ended up topping Real Madrid and going on to the uh, knockout stages, even though Real Madrid ended up winning despite coming second in the group. Um, so something like that could even happen. And even last year, Real Madrid were the Champions League winners going into the group stage, and they still are. So, and Dortmund still managed to <laughs> beat uh, Real Madrid and top the group. But I think <laughs> despite uh, Real Madrid's st slow start, uh, slow and bad start actually in this uh, league so far, I think they will do much better in the group stage of Champions League. And I think this time they'll beat Dortmund and finish in first place and Dortmund will just have to take second. Tottenham might have to go to Europa League. But yeah, that's my predictions for the Champions League group stage. Uh, comment below if you guys um, agree with my predictions or disagree. Um, also comment what you guys, who you guys think will make it out of the group stage and who you think will go to Europa League. And yeah, like and share, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you next time when the knockout stage gets announced.